Ready to smoke this dope, so I pull up my bros Levi jeans and I put on my clothes Grabbing my keys then I head out the door I box in the wheel, can't see from the smoke Hope I don't crash on How are you guys doing today and welcome back to the channel so today I'm bringing you guys two outfits with the newest clothing glitches and I'm gonna try to bring you guys more simple outfits because I noticed a lot of people upload outfits that require two consoles. So I'll try to upload outfits that only require one console as I don't even have two consoles myself. But anyways for this video the free mode outfit is definitely my favorite because of the FIB badge and the red designer shirt. But let me know which is your favorite and don't forget to join my discord if you guys want to play together or come out on videos because I will be needing help for future videos but let's get into it. Alright guys so first off we're going to be getting the things for the outfit and then we're going to be making the outfit. So a lot of these things are kind of common and if you guys already have them you do not have to get them again. So you can go ahead and just skip on the video to the part where you need to. Alright guys first we're going to be getting the orange trash vest and for this you are going to need a friend. So tell him to go ahead and host up Hippie Hunting which is a Rockstar created versus. It is the only one there is. So once he's in the loading screen tell him to go ahead and change the clothing to themed as you guys see here. And then from there go ahead and just join him through your phone. And when you guys are in the outfit screen let him know to change it to Dead Funny which are the trash man outfits. So go ahead and switch to his team and you will notice that now you have the orange Trashman outfit. So once you do load up into the job, you're going to go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to style, go down to helmet visor and here spam right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. And once you're done spamming right on the d-pad, you're going to need to just go afk for about 3 minutes so you could get kicked out of the job. And after 3 minutes you will get a message like this. So from there just go ahead and accept the message. So you could go back to free mode. And once in free mode you will notice now you have the Trashman outfit. So from here just go into any clothing store or ammunition store to save the outfit. And make sure to take off the pants and the mask when you do save it because you will lose the outfit. So here I forgot to take off the pants but after I did take them off. Because I did lose it one time already. So now we will be getting the orange hat. So same process as the other glitch. You're going to need a friend again to host up hippie hunting. And from there go ahead and switch the clothing again to themed. And you can actually get any outfit from hippie hunting with this method. So if you like any other outfit you guys could get it if you'd like to. Alright guys so here in the outfit selection you let him know to switch the outfits to the ranged. And this outfit will give you the orange outfit. So right here he was messing around and he didn't really show the outfit. But just let him know to switch it to deranged. And as you guys see here now we have the orange hat. So same thing go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to style. Go down to helmet visor and spam right on the d-pad for 30 seconds. And now wait for 3 minutes. And after 3 minutes you will get the message again. So just go ahead and accept it to go into free mode. And once you're back in free mode you will have the outfit. So from here you can go ahead and save it and same thing go ahead and just switch the pants. And I'm saving these in separate slots it's not at all in one slot. So I saved one in the as a vest and then I'm saving this as hat. And now we're going to go ahead and get the orange joggers. So you could get the orange joggers from the hippie hunting mission if you'd like to get it from hippie hunting but for me I might get it from another job that gives you the bulletproof helmet in case I want to use it in another outfit and this method is only for PS4 so if you guys have PS4 I'll link the job in the description and you guys could get it easily too like this if not you will need to get it from hippie hunting alright guys so once you do it, bookmark the job you're gonna go ahead and go into online bookmark and go into last team standing and here you will see the job called power play and you don't have to change any settings so just go ahead and invite anybody and once you join you'll see you don't have the outfit yet or not even when you spawn but a little bit after you will get it and now go ahead and go into your interaction menu go to style accessories 
Go down to gloves and spam right on the d-pad for about 10 seconds and once you do so you can go ahead and just exit the job through your phone. Alright so now once you're back in free mode you will have the outfit so just go ahead and save the outfit in a different slot. Alright guys so now that we have everything we could start making the outfit. So go ahead and put on your outfit that has the orange joggers and then go ahead and go into the top section go down to designer hoodies and here you're going to look for the white one and now you're going to go ahead and back out of that go into utility vest and you're going to go ahead and put on number 43 which is the peach plate carrier Now go ahead and go into the shoe section and here you go down to sports shoes and we're going to be putting on the all white sports shoes but you can also put any orange shoes you like. And lastly go into the glove section and we're going to be putting on some white gloves. So go ahead and go into gloves and choose the white cotton gloves. Alright guys from here you're going to go ahead and remove any mask or hats that you have. So I'm just opening my interaction menu and taking off the mask and the helmet I have. And lastly go ahead and scroll down to hood and put the hoodie up. And now go ahead and save your outfit. So now go ahead and go to the front counter. Then go to outfits heist coveralls and get any of the outfits that have the gas mask on it so you could just get this last one here called the quarantine and now you're going to be needing a telescope so i suggest you guys use the one at the beach that i'm using right here and we're going to be doing the telescope glitch so go ahead and run into the telescope and spam right on the d-pad and you will see it glitches out and it doesn't look through the telescope so now you can go ahead and open your interaction menu Go to style and put on the outfit with the hoodie up and you will see it glitches the gas mask over to this outfit. So from here go to your closest ammunition store. Once you arrive you'll notice that your hoodie goes down every time you go into a car or a motorcycle. So just go ahead and open up the interaction menu again and you could just put it up through there. And then just go ahead and save the outfit. And now once you're done saving the outfit, go ahead and just commit suicide and that's just to save the spawn location. So once you spawn back in, you're going to go ahead and open up the pause menu, go to online, go to play job, Rockstar created, then go into missions and you're going to host up Titan of a job, which is the first mission. And right here, we're going to be playing a solo, so you don't have to change anything. Just go ahead and start up the mission. Alright guys, if you guys did the glitch correctly, you will spawn into the mission without the vest but with the mask on still and the hoodie up. So go inside the ammunition store and save the outfit and then you can just exit the job through your phone. Alright guys, so now we're going to be glitching the orange vest onto the outfit. So go ahead and put on the outfit that we saved earlier which is the orange trashman outfit so this is mine here and we're going to go ahead and merge it now so go to the pause menu go to online go to play job versus and start up hippie hunting and make sure you're the host so it makes it easier so once you do get to be the host you're going to go ahead and change the clothing to player owned and then just confirm settings and wait for somebody to join you or you can invite a friend so once someone does join you go ahead and just start the job and here you're going to scroll down to owned outfit and you're just going to scroll once to the right so you can merge the trash man vest onto the outfit that we're making and i forgot to say this guys but make sure that the outfit is on the first slot or the last slot so if it's on the first slot you will need to just scroll once to the right or if it's on the last slot you will scroll once to the left so it merges the vest onto it so as you guys see here now we have the vest on the outfit that we're making so now just wait until it starts up and once it does you're going to go ahead and just put on earrings or an earpiece if you have either or. So I'm just going to put on earrings just to be safe because if you go to gear and you put on an earpiece you might switch to the rebreather and then the hoodie will go down and then just exit the job through your phone. So you guys are going to hate me for this but once you spawn into free mode 
you will notice you have the outfit, but if you do not want the hoodie to go down, you are gonna have to run all the way to the ammunition store, cause you can't get in the car or else the hoodie will go down. So it didn't take me too long, it took me about like 2 minutes to run all the way over there, but, but I did have to run all the way over there and I had to press the button to run all the way over there. So as you guys see here, I got here when it was already nighttime. So from here, just go ahead and save the outfit. Alright guys, so now we're going to be transferring over the hat over to this outfit. So you will need a car, any car, even the ones from the street. And you're going to need a mask that's compatible with this hoodie. And by that, I mean that if you put it on, the hoodie will stay up. So you guys can use this one here, Forest Combat Mask. Or you can even use some of these right here, which are the Ski Mask. So I'm just going to be using the ski mask for now. And now you're going to go ahead and save that outfit with the ski mask in another slot. That is not the one with the hoodie up or else you will lose it. So I just saved another slot here. So now you're going to go ahead and put on the outfit that has the orange hat. Go over to the car again. Open up your interaction menu, go to style, and scroll to the outfit that has the mask on it. And then just go ahead and leave it there. Scroll to it and go up once to parachute and press triangle to get inside your car. And as soon as he sits down, go ahead and select the outfit that has the mask on it. And go back up to parachute and get off the car. And once you do get off, you'll notice the hat came over to this outfit. So from here, go ahead and save it again in the slot where the mask was, not the one where the hoodie is up. So I know it does take kind of long if you want to keep the hoodie up, but I think it's worth it. It looks pretty cool. So now we're going to be coming over to the telescope again. So for this one, I just came over to my apartment. So same thing, you guys already know. Go ahead and put on the outfit with the mask and the hat. Then run into the telescope and spam right on the D-pad. Go into the interaction menu. And now select the outfit that has the hoodie up and then walk away from the telescope and you will notice that all the things merged in together. So we're going to be removing the mask by going into the interaction menu, style, accessories and go ahead and put on some earrings and you could just take them off again. And now you can go ahead and just save the outfit. So there was a method before to merge the rebreather onto here but everything's patched. I tried everything I couldn't get anything to work. So unfortunately we can't put a rebreather on it but you could put on glasses. And these white ones kind of match with this so I just put on these white ones. And after you're done customizing the glasses or whatever else you need to do. You can just go ahead and save the outfit. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. Now we're going to be moving on to the free mode outfit which is a lot simpler than the orange one to make. So first off we're going to be starting up in the clothing store again. And we're going to go into the pants section. Go into suit pants. And go ahead and buy number 24 which is the white slim fit. Now go ahead and go to the shoe section, go to skate shoes and buy the red skate shoes. And now we're going to be merging the logo onto the red shirt. So go to the top section, go into t-shirts and here buy the red t-shirt. Now you're going to go up once to special tops and you're going to go into fame and shame and here don't buy anything just stay on it and now you're going to go back out once where it says fame or shame again and here just go ahead and save the outfit and this glitches the shirt so now you could put any design on it so go ahead and save the outfit again into the first or the last slot so i already saved the other one in the first slot now i'm gonna save it in the last slot so we could be able to merge things onto it and now go ahead and go down to designer t-shirts and we're going to be buying the one with the skeleton which is the which is the VDG skeleton t-shirt and all these other ones look pretty cool too but for this video we're just going to be going with this one so now to actually merge it just open up your interaction menu go to your outfits and then just scroll to the outfit that we saved with the red t-shirt and then go ahead and just select it and you will notice that it just merges on that easily. So now go ahead and go into the top section again. Go to utility vest. And we're going to be putting on the peach plate carrier again. Which is number 43. And save it again one more time. And now you're going to need to put on the heist coverall outfit again. So go over to the front counter. Go to outfits. 
Heist Cover Us and select the Quarantine. And we're going to be doing the Telescope Glitch again. So as you guys see here, we already got it down. We just got here and we're going to run to the Telescope, spam right on the D-pad. And now we're going to be putting down the outfit that we saved. And you'll notice now the gas mask transfers over. And from here, go to your nearest ammunition store again to save the outfit. And once you save it, come outside and commit suicide. Alright, so once you spawn in, go to the pause menu online, play job, rockstar created, go to missions, and host up titan of a job. And go ahead and start it solo, so confirm settings and start the mission up. And once you spawn in, you will not have the vest anymore, but you will still have the gas mask, so that's how you know the glitch worked. So now go to your nearest ammunition store and save the outfit. And once you do save it, go ahead and exit the job through your phone. Alright guys, from this point now, we're going to be merging over the white shirt. So go into the top section from this ammunition store, which is already closed. We spawned here. Then go into vest. And you could buy any vest. I just put on this sky check soup vest if you guys want to put that one on. Then back out once, go to the vest shirt and put on the white band vest shirt. And now we're going to be hosting up hippie hunting again. So go to your pause menu, play job, rockstar created, versus, and host up hippie hunting. And in this screen, go ahead and switch the clothing to player owned again. And go ahead and choose them by your friend or any random. And in this screen, we're going to be switching once over to the left because we saved the outfit on the last slot. So we're going to be merging over the white band shirt. So scroll one to the left and now you will have the red shirt with the white band shirt. So now you guys see the outfit is coming along already. Alright guys, so once you spawn into the job, and you could just go to gear and put on anything. I put on a rebreather and now just exit the job through your phone. Alright guys, so now we're back at free mode and now you could actually get into a car. So go ahead and just go to any ammunition store and save the outfit. So you guys won't have the logos yet until you actually save the outfit. So pretty much the outfit's already done. We're just going to be adding the FIB badge. So here go ahead and put on the white gloves on it and save it. And then we're also going to be adding the mask onto it. So I think any of the mysterious masks look pretty cool on it. So as you guys see here I have on the red one. But I didn't really like it. So I'm going to be merging over the white one onto it. So for this, go ahead and put on the mask that you like. Come over to a telescope again. And then go ahead and run into the telescopes and spam right on the D-pad. And make sure you're wearing the mask. And then once the glitch is out, it will remove the mask. So from here, put on the tan bulletproof helmet. And now you guys will see you guys have both of the things together. So from here, just go ahead and save the outfit. Alright guys, so lastly we're going to be getting the FIB badge on this red outfit. Unfortunately, we can't get it on the other one because the hoodie will go down. So first off, you not everybody's going to be able to get it because you will need an arcade. So you're going to go ahead and need to do these two missions first. And then you're going to need to choose the big con. And then from there, it will give you the other board. From there, you will unlock this, this one here with Lester called Hacking Device. So once you do have all that though, you're going to go ahead and start the hacking device. And once you start it, you're going to need to spawn with the suit. And I got it on my first try. But if you don't spawn with the suit, you just go ahead and switch sessions and then start it again until you do spawn in with the suit. So from here, drive over to any ammunition store. And once you come over to the ammunition store, you're going to choose the red outfit. And this also works for any other outfit you want to add the badge onto. But for this video, we're going to be putting on the red outfit. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the mission spot. So once you guys get here, just go ahead and destroy everything or just uh, kill everybody. And now you're going to go ahead and search the agent for the security pass, which is the FIB badge. So as you guys see here, you just go ahead and search them, press right on the D-pad, and now you have the badge onto the outfit that you like. So now go into any ammunition store again, 
and save the outfit for the last time and there you guys have it now the outfit's pretty much done and i actually like this outfit a lot so let me know what you guys think of this outfit all right guys but that's gonna be it for me on this video thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one